Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Jacksonville, Florida at the Sierra Nevada Corporation headquarters. You're looking at the first 829 Super Tucano to be built in the U.S. This is part of the Air Force's light air support program and these airplanes, 20 of them, will be going to Afghanistan. We talked to Embraer's Dan Culleton about how the assembly process works. Jacksonville is the home of the Super Tucano final assembly line. We receive our assemblies from Brazil, our major assemblies, which include the fuselage, the wings, and empionage. Uh, and they get uh, barged in, they come in through the port of Miami or the port of Jacksonville. Once we get them in, we, uh, we depanel the, uh, the fuselage section and we start our first process which is called pre-assembly. And we have three stations in pre-assembly, pre-assembly one, two and three. We install the basic uh, electrical harness installations, our hydraulic installations and some of our fuel systems. And then it progresses into the final assembly stage. There's three stations there as well. Final assembly one, two, and three. That's when the airplane becomes a true airplane. The first part of the, the process is to join the wings. Once the wings are joined, then the rest of the systems start to be uh, put in place. We finalize all the fuel systems and uh, avionics gear starts to go in. It gets into the second station and we start some of the testing. So it's in the testing phase in, in station two, the final assembly. It gets to station three, it's in the uh, what I'll call the, the flight status. We start to do fuel cal, weight and balance, and get the airplane for uh, ready for outside ops and run the engine and get ready for flight. In here, it takes about 105 days, but it's a total of about 120 days if you include the paint. Uh, the paint we uh, we go for outside, but it, everything internally is about 105 days. The line is uh, is a U-shaped flow. It's based on a tack time of every 15 days the line moves, so it is a moving line. Contract was, was awarded uh, March of last year. We actually started uh, production here in February 3rd of this year. Uh, the last of the deliveries is slated to go out around the beginning of uh, June time frame of next year for the first 20. June will complete the initial order. It is a uh, indefinite order quantity type contract, so they could add additional orders at, at any time, and of course we're very hopeful for that.